Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand what is fatigue wear. Fatigue wear. Fatigue wear is a type of wear where a number of cycles is needed to generate debris. The large fatigue process in metals may induce the generation of surface and subsurface cracks which after a critical number of cycles results in a severe damage such as large fragments leaving the surface. Wear under this process or a condition is determined by the mechanics of crack initiation, crack growth and fracture. Worn surfaces contain very high levels of plastic strain compared to unworn surfaces. This strain and consequent modification of the material's microstructure have a strong effect on the wear process. Here in this figure we can see the surface fatigue which is causing the fatigue wear. This happens when the body is loaded by a heavy object or a heavy loading on a surface and which initiates the crack and then it forms the fatigue wear by formation of the metallic chips. Here in this figure we can see how the crack is initiated by the fatigue wear. We can see that a primary crack which originates at the surface at some weak point and propagates downward along the weak planes such as slip planes or dislocation cell boundaries and then a secondary crack can develop from the primary crack or alternatively the primary crack can connect with an existing subsurface crack. When the developing crack reaches the surface again a wear particle is released. This is how the crack formation causes the worn out particle in fatigue wear. Next, let us understand the mechanism of fatigue wear in sliding condition. This happens mainly due to the following points. At a high coefficient of friction, there is a high degree of plastic deformation. When shear strain is very high and surface material is shifted in the sliding direction, the grains are drawn out and oriented parallel to the surface. Submicron sized dislocation cells occurs similar to highly cold worked metals. High sacking fault energy promotes cell formation in case of aluminium, copper, iron. Here in this figure we can see the mechanism of fatigue wear at a sliding condition which is initiated by the crack formation. Now let us understand fatigue wear mechanism in rolling condition. Fatigue wear in rolling bearings generally starts with micro pitting, small areas on the bearing surface where material has been removed due to repetitive stress. At its terminal point, surface fatigue causes significant surface spalling, large craters often several hundred microns across which are easily visible to the naked eye. While the effects of fatigue on the bearings are well documented, wear debris analysis offers a unique insight into fatigue failure. In this figure, we can see the mechanism of fatigue wear at rolling condition in different materials. In the first, we can see unlubricated metals and non-oxide ceramics. And in the second, we can see the lubricated rollings. And in the third, the oxide ceramics. And in the fourth, we can see how the fatigue wear is happening due to rolling condition at polymers. Now let us understand the fatigue wear in contact surfaces. It is either difficult or uneconomical to attain perfect lubrication that is where solid to solid contact is completely prevented. When some solid contact occurs even if it is very occasional sufficient surface damage to initiate contact fatigue which can take place. Solid to solid contact can occur when the asperities from the opposing surfaces interact or when the debris passes through the elastohydrodynamic contact. The contact fatigue can originate from the subsequent damage and to the surface, for example at the scratches and dents. Fatigue wear in the contact surfaces. In this figure we can see the EHL film and there is an aspirate interaction at, and there is the development of the elevated stress and the mat material deformation and then the particle in the lubricant here we can see the deformation of the opposed surfaces by trapped debris and this is the places where the fatigue wear occurs due to the stress elevation and the material deformation. These are the references for the information provided in this video. 
I hope in this video you have understood what is fatigue wear, what are the mechanisms of fatigue wear in different conditions such as rolling and sliding condition and also you have understood how the crack initiation leads to fatigue wear formation. Thank you for watching this video. Follow us on our social media pages such as Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Also do not forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel Tribonet. If you need more information in the topics related to tribology, visit our website on www.tribonite.org.